Welcome to my curly hair tutorial. Now, quick disclaimer, my hair may not be like your hair, but this is what works for me. So we begin in the shower. I'm just combing through my conditioner. This is when I do my detangling. And now that I have rinsed my conditioner out, I'm just combing it again to make sure that there's nothing left in there. And I'm turning the water off just to comb through again. This is the last time a comb will touch my hair during my styling routine. So now I'm just trying to remove just a tiny bit of excess water. You want your hair wet, wet, wet. So I'm fluffing it up at the root. And now I'm just going to go straight in with my stylers. So starting with Restore Leave-In Conditioner, this is just for moisture, curly hair tends to be dry hair. And I cocktail that with blowout cream. This is a little bit of heat protectant for when I diffuse, and it also has a smoothing agent which helps seal the cuticle of my hair as well. So I'm just smoothing it on. That technique is actually called praying hands when you kind of sandwich the hair between both your hands and it just helps all of the follicles lie in the right direction. Going into a little bit of curl cream. Uh, this is a very kind of a soft styling cream. It helps to define curls without being a very hard hold. Okay, so you can see how I apply. Um, I don't do a lot of raking with my hair just because my curl is very fine. I prefer to just smooth it on and kind of scrunch it up. With my flexible hold gel, now this product is going to give me what I call a cast. So it is going to allow my curl to almost harden in that shape so it can dry completely and then I can break up the cast at the end and just have beautifully defined curls. Now I kind of flip my head in all directions just so that my hair is not laying on my scalp. And now I'm doing what's called wet plopping, which is a terrible, terrible name and I'm sorry. Okay, so we do the shower cap just so that I can finish my skincare and get some clothes on and I don't have water dripping down me and it actually kind of prevents gravity from pulling my hair down. I'm going to use a little bit of Moxie Mousse here just for um, some volume right at the roots. Don't mind my purple scalp. It is a fresh color job. Um, I think this is only my second wash and I'm going straight into dry plopping. Um, this again allows my hair to start drying without gravity pulling it flat. Um, so what you do is kind of let your hair kind of coil around itself as you slowly lower it down onto the shirt and then all of your hair ends up on the top of your head and you can kind of tie it up there so that the moisture is absorbed without it kind of being pulled out. I left that for maybe about 25 minutes and then just kind of shake it out, make sure it's not stuck down, and then this is when we diffuse. So I'm just slowly bringing the diffuser cup close to the curl, letting it kind of coil around itself in there. Um, I'm doing very low speed just so that it's not going to blow the curl around. And I never diffuse 100%, I usually do about 85% and then air dry the rest. And now I'm doing a scrunch the crunch. So this is when you want to break up that beautiful cast that your hair is being held in. And you can see I've got some gorgeous, soft, touchable waves. Curls are not uniform. If you want them to be uniform, you can always touch them up with a curling iron, but every curl is going to be different on my head because that is the beauty of curls. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something.